So, hey, I'm Danix. Uh, I will be doing a review of the A50 Bake tablet. They have sent me this tablet to make an honest review and see if I like it or not. Uh, first, when you open the box, the first thing you will be seeing is the tablet itself and also a thank you note, which is very nice of them. It comes with an USB-C cable, which is great because you can just plug it in in any way and you won't have to bother about it. It comes with a pen, which I found really lightweight. So, now I will be proceeding to accommodate the workspace so I can use the tablet on it. The tablet must be lined up with the monitor so you get the most precise strokes and it's not as hard to draw. I take my pen and take the USB cord. The, this USB is 2.0 so you can just plug it in any USB port on your computer and since it's Type-C I just put it with a warning if whether it's the right side or not. Once I connect the tablet I will be checking if there's an LED showing up and if it recognizes the pen, which as you can see it does. Once this is done, it's ready for driver. So now it's downloaded the drivers. To download the drivers you go to bake.com I will be putting the link in the description. Um, you will go to the downloads tab. You will see different drivers. Just go for the pen tablet driver software and choose your right correct operating system. When you choose the one you just download it, wait for it to download to your computer, and then open it as an administrator. It should just prompt it to you automatically. Accept and just install it where you want to install it. Once this is done, you've successfully installed the drivers. So now that the drivers have been installed, I will be just playing around with it. I'll, I'll be setting up my workspace, my mapping, and my shortcut keys. The tablet has got uh, 10 times 6 inches of active area. This is wide enough for precise strokes. It's got 8K pen pressure levels, which is kind of standard by now, but it's really good to see it in this price range of tablets. The pen is battery free, you don't need any batteries on it. It's got 8 shortcut keys and it's got a trackpad as well. The trackpad allows you to add more, 4 more shortcut keys. For example, I've put, I've put it so I can zoom in or increase the pen size, which is great. And the drivers can be downloaded from the website USB Type C. So after setting up the tablet itself, I decided to play around with it to see if I could find any issues with the drivers. I did find some small bugs with mapping on some software, such as Sai, but I contacted Vake, Vic, uh, well, I contacted the customer support and they say that they are actually working on that and it should be fixed soon. On Clipping Studio I found a trick to fix it, kind of a workaround. It's just going to File Preferences, Tablet, tablet and then just tick the Set tra Tablet Operation Area with Application. And then where it says Operate with Specified Monitor, just tick on Operate with Whole Tablet. I should put this on screen so it's fine. Overall, the whole tablet quality is amazing in my opinion. For its price, you're getting a great value. Apart from the box that is got, which are cur currently being worked on, it is perfect. And if I knew about it before buying my traveling tablet, I would have bought this one instead. You can see that I've got used to using the shortcut keys really quickly, which I've never got used to on my Galmon PD or my Wacom. Not saying that they are not good, I just find this way easier and the, and the trackman mates is so... I don't have to be clicking many times to zoom or change brush size, which is pretty helpful to be honest. I was actually amazed that this tablet managed to keep up with my workflow that I usually use my Gammon pen display. I even set it on stream. This is where the tablet will show 
its true potential, if it works properly, it's got my seal of approval. Also, the tablet being big allows me to do pretty precise strokes that is way harder to achieve with a smaller tablet such as the Wacom Intuos Raw, which is 15 pounds more expensive than this one. Also, the trap pack is always a bonus. I just love it. I was, it's way bigger than I expected. And it's got a trap pack. I think this is my favorite. My, my favorite feature of, of that tablet is a trap pack till now. Another small thing that made me happy is that I could use the ALT button for color picking with a pen, which I cannot do on my gammon for who knows what reason. Please tell me it works. It works! Oh my god! Oh, that's so useful! In conclusion, I like the tablet. It's good quality and it does what it's supposed to do. Also, the price is way cheaper than it should be, in my opinion. Anyhow, thank you for watching and see you next time.